of this um cool little thing that happened over the weekend right um kid cuddy was on saturday night live and decided to pay homage to the legendary kurt cobain by getting a specially made um dress from virgil abloh's off-white made for him and i think he had another outfit too that was a cardigan that was kind of similar to something virgil something sorry kurt cobain wore as well back in the day a really good ode and maybe is this signaling a change a, a signaling signaling a uh, a renaissance somewhat of the dresses on men i'm not too sure personally um you'd obviously have to be fairly uh in fairly decent nick to make it work which is ironic too right because i'd imagine dresses like this usually kind of you know flatter women of all shapes and sizes but i always find that if you're a dude the contrast of being fairly buff and masculine looking and wearing a dress is probably more fitting than just being quite a blob and wearing a dress doesn't have the same sort of bang on it and it also helps if you're an internationally acclaimed uh well-regarded celebrity pop star ha rapper guy like kid cuddy right a legend in his field somebody that all the littles are basically referencing and saying that he's you know their influence it kind of rocks a bit better on you and that's the problem as well with these sort of things like i would be up for wearing one but i know it probably wouldn't look like that on me do you know what i mean and it probably wouldn't have the same effect because i'm just <laughs> a no normal guy out here but this is courtesy of kid cuddy this is courtesy of gq it says kid cuddy's off white snl appearance is another sign that dresses for men are becoming a norm this lady here interviewed what's her name here rachel tash tashian rachel tashian interviewed virgil um about it said the following it continues here said, how did the idea of the dress come together it's a tribute to Kurt Cobain and what did you and Cardi discuss Virgil says Cardi and I have a history that goes back 10 years he was on the set of a film shooting on the odd time zone and goes hey I need a dress for SNL and I said say no more I'm on it that's what that, that's what good collaborations are like right when it's between friends say no more I'm on it, it continues the silhouette differs from Kurt Cobain's dress um, which is more grunge girl borrowed from Courtney or one of her acolytes this one's more borrowed from a hot woman at brunch or a bridesmaid may still in the show at her best friend's wedding can you say more about the silhouette and he says you're 100 percent you're catching the nuance for me the moment exemplifies the power garments possess to tell a story the essence of off-white since its inception derailed the notion that fashion only tells stories that my culture consumes but harness the potential to tell our own stories garments travel that dress and all of Cuddy looks have a homage to Kirk Cobain and Chris Farley. The heritage of the of the setting was important for the big um, from the beginning. The dress fits the way it does precisely on purpose. Interesting point he makes there. It does not. It doesn't cop out at the very end. Um, it'll get loose at the top, so it looks more safe. No, it's a dress from the loved one's closet. Cuddy and I are foe against the grain for fun. We really are independent thinkers, which is an interesting sentence to say, right? You're far against the grain for fun, but we're independent thinkers. It's cool, like an oxymoron, but it continues. For me, it represents personal empowerment despite my uh, my any social norm. It, ve it vehemently represents confidence. It's Cuddy knocking on your television screen saying, hey, be yourself. Day one fans of Cuddy know that he isn't the norm. He's only ever been himself. So there is there has been a little bit of pushback online in terms of the dress, how it fits. I think when Cuddy these arms are down the top looks a little bit tight um maybe it's cut incorrectly um but i i have a feeling especially from covering a lot of a uh, seeing or covering a lot of off-white collections and seeing it in person at that runway show i went to you know a few years ago in paris i think that's just a purposely done thing now i think they're just leaning into it the fact that off-white is always kind of slightly off kilter it just all slightly doesn't look right it all looks a bit incorrect right um like it's kind of gone for a bit of a glitch on purpose sort of thing glitch filter so that maybe is a on purpose done but i also like the idea or notion that he purposely wanted it to fit like an actual dress dress right there was no cop out there's no in kind of easy way because this could have easily just been like a long t-shirt sort of vibe that kind of flares out of the bottom which would have been a lot safer to wear so similar to what you know young fug always argues about that cheetah print dress thing that he wore he kind of argues that it was just a long t-shirt it wasn't really a dress but it kind of flared out of the bottom that made it look more dressy but this is an actual dress dress this is like molly goddard level right this is just like a dress there's no real you know um scrimping on that one 
so that's an interesting thing to see if that gets adapted because I guess there's a lot of kilts at the moment I think Comedy Garcon had a few in a few recent collections John John and so there'll be Watanabe obviously does few uh Yojima Moto kind of has that drapery kind of long thing going on but actual just straight up dresses on dudes it's probably going to be a thing that only a few people would dare to do and like I said it'll probably help if you're somewhat got the genetic choir to kind of make it work there was like dude who went viral recently on social who wears high heels and stuff it's just something that you can't really kind of bottle but he has it right he just looks great in it whether it's his whether it's his overall physique or whatever but it's just something about the way he kind of rocks it and just works so it's definitely going to be something that's going to be only reserved for the small minority of people out there but again if you really want to shake things up that's definitely a way to go about it so here tell me about the word pattern continues here across the board with the body of the dress pattern like a cut and sew dress or pattern like Kurt Cobain obviously Virgil doesn't really answer that one it continues um he said the question here is the following the dress and the skirt seem to be taking over menswear you had a lot of them in louis vuitton show um we've got henry in chop chop chopova skirts and gucci gowns we've got wearers always look so at ease liberated and of course they do dresses are comfortable no wonder greek philosophers wore them that i'm get what i'm getting at is that um where are you thinking where is no, where I'm getting at is where you think the dress fits into the landscape of menswear now. As Cuddy um, demonstrated, it now seems less about provocation as it did with, say, the NY Dolls or even perhaps the Fugger and more about comfort and freedom. But maybe you disagree. Is the dress displacing the men's suit as a norm from which fashion deviates or, or derives? Or do you see it another way? It's not going to, it's not going to, come on anyway continue what's the answer he says the beauty about now is our generation piece by piece can dismantle norms 2020 was a year of reckoning about how the system in place that governs us as people is out of date my work exists in the space of pop culture gender norms and racial freedoms are amongst the most important things in society that need to be updated as a fashion designer at moments like this let me know that there is a place for intellect and risk for the sake of expanding space i could care less about attention I hope today there's some kid in middle America that feels empowered about what Cuddy used our privileged platform to do. So there's not a chance that skirts and dresses are ever going to display suits, but I would like there to be a kind of, I won't say reckoning, but a sort of acceptance that these, you know, outfits and garments are nothing but just garments right they obviously they have their sort of gendered nuances about them and stuff but it, it got a bit annoying when you saw the kind of kerfuffle that was you know raised when harry styles put on that dress and that shoot that he did and everyone was going crazy candace owens getting into a back and forth with him on social it was just a bit cringe um we should have kind of moved past that um, wearing a dress now isn't a, a point to get attention if you just want to mix up the stuff that you wear in terms of silhouettes and shapes especially for dudes right you always look at those sort of like red carpet events there's not really a lot of things that guys can wear in those sort of events it's out, outside of a you know a colored vest jacket a colored suit jacket sorry most of all you know it's all just a standard um black tie sort of attire so if there was a possibility for somebody to kind of venture out and decide to put on a vintage Roberto Cavalli dress on some old Armani Moschino um a liar guy right wearing it that would look flipping pl amazing it really would of course it would take a certain person to do it a certain panache but the more we have that sort of scene in the general you know uh in the mainstream the hopefully the you know the the sooner that kind of stuff can get accepted and people can feel comfortable to wear it because part of the reason why guys don't really wear it is mostly the reaction right because i think most guys which is probably why i always kind of veer on this notion that fashion is mostly for women and styles mostly for guys i would say generally in that kind of gendered sense whereas i feel like women like the attention right they like the kind of attention that fashion brings which is probably why it maybe rings true to the lgbtq community that level of like self-expression right and kind of telling your story through garments whereas i think dudes you know probably fall on one side of kind of it being kind of functional and practical wear clothing that they're kind of putting on that serves a purpose or the other side which is sort of like stylist stylish clothes that kind of adds a layer to their personality or allows them their personality to kind of come to the forefront you know you kind of get what i mean so that's why maybe sometimes it can be difficult for some dudes to get in 
really involved in the fashion fashion thing because it's just too showy it kind of you know by nature if you wore a tom brand suit there's no way you're not going to turn some heads right especially if you wear one straight from the one way that's been custom right it's going to look a bit weird right it's just not going to look like something regular people have seen it's not going to look like a moss bros suit so maybe that's why most dudes are like you know what i'd rather just go safe and get a regular suit on and just maybe spice it up with some brown shoes or a pink tie but they find it difficult to do a fashion thing mostly again for the reaction so if we have more people wearing the dresses maybe that would lead more people just being like you know what it's not that big of a deal it's just a dress you'd hope so innit? it going forward um we've got here some pictures of somebody you took kind of references um you know side by side you've got of course uh cuddy wearing a dress on snl and then you've got of course Kurt Cobain wearing a similar dress to just basically over his outfit he already had on so it was again I like what Virgil said because I think the Cuddy thing was probably I guess at the moment at the time in the era that was that was definitely something that was uh shocking and a bit of a you know um like again a bit of an attention grab but I guess in terms of just really setting a tone and kind of putting out a story and telling something right informing a view of something and challenging their preconceptions this is far more in your face isn't it? Cause that's a real real dress dress right? i mean there's no like playing around there um it continues here you've got then probably his best outfit of the night for me um the kind of reference again this og picture of uh, a very handsome Kurt Cobain. he's got the you know the pile sort of jumper on as well cardigan with a t-shirt with uh, chris farley on it and then he's got the cactus whatever um diamond encrusted dunks which are definitely uh grail in it really really nice shoe but who knows man i, I don't know i, I wouldn't again I, I would say it probably helps because you know cuddy's cuddy he's cool as fuck so it definitely works on him this sort of thing you just kind of think back to that iconic outfit he wore you know in coachella all those years ago right the crop the cropped um sleeveless uh sweatshirt that he wore that looked flipping incredible on him right it just it's not a lot of people that could basically pull that off and make that work so it's no real stretch that somebody that looks amazing in a cropped um sleeveless sweatshirt would also look pretty decent in a dress do you know what i mean it's just standard of course what, what do you expect so interested to see how it develops whether or not more people will wear it let me know if you would ever wear a dress yourself in the comments down below in the comments down below